Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Taking a look at the hourly time frame for IOTA, it can be seen that the price went down with around 3.0% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 17.4 cents. The volume was actually high showing that this move was strong and the sellers are taking over. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 17.7 .7 cents. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bullish divergence, but the price went to the downside, which was actually not expected. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent K line is over the percent D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Moving to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 18.2 cents. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very low, which means that the price is oversold and a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation is to be expected. You should wait to see if the trend will in fact go up because the K line has yet to cross the D line. Jumping to the three hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.